Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to use the Accounts Manager module on Socinator using your YouTube account. After opening the Socinator app, this is the first tab on the left side. Let's start by clicking the Add Account button. Let's select YouTube as our social network. For group name, it's not really required. If you want to group accounts together on Socinator, then enter a random group name here. Then let's enter our YouTube email address. Then let's enter our password. You may also add an alternate email. Click this box to enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. When you're ready, click Save. So we successfully added our YouTube account. So you can see the social network logo or icon then the username, or in this case, the email address of our YouTube account. The status is success, which is what we want to see. The group name is ungrouped because we did not specify a group name. Then the local IP address is the proxy address. And finally, the friendship count. So now let's right click on our YouTube account. There are several options here. Let's start with details. So here we have the social network, which is YouTube. Then the group name is ungrouped. Enter a random group name here if you want to group accounts together on Socinator. You may also enter an account name. Next, we have the email address of your YouTube account, then your password, then a website if there is. You may also enter an alternate email and your phone number. So add an existing phone number or add a new phone number. Don't forget to include the country code and it's last synchronized at the following date and time. Click Advanced Settings to configure the following, and when you're ready, click the Save button over here. Now let's click Cancel. The second one is Delete Profile. Let's skip this for now and go back to it later. The third one is Browser Login. So this will open the Socinator browser where you can browse using your YouTube channel. Click the Check IP button over here to check your IP address, and the YouTube Login button over here will allow you to log in using your YouTube account on Socinator. This means you don't necessarily need the YouTube app or an internet browser. You may simply open the Socinator app, then you can browse using your YouTube account. So let's close it. The third one is Go to Tools. This will bring us to the Accounts Activity tab where you can configure the following YouTube automation tools. We have separate tutorials for each, so be sure to check them out. Next, we have Check Account Status. This will check the account status in real time, and it's a success. Next, we have Update Friendship, so it will update the friendship count in real time. Finally, we have Copy Account ID, if you need to copy and paste your account ID somewhere, then click it, and the account ID was successfully copied. Now let's go back to the second one, Delete Profile. This will not delete the account itself. This will only remove the account from Socinator. When you're sure, click Delete anyways, and it's gone. Now let me show you another option in adding accounts on Socinator. This one will allow us to import several accounts at the same time by simply clicking this button over here. But before clicking Import Multiple Accounts, if you hover on this button, you can see the format. So first, enter a random group name where you want to group your accounts together on Socinator. Then call in the social network. Call in your email address for the social network. Call in your password. Then for YouTube accounts, you can add colon, alternate email. You may also add the proxy address, proxy port, proxy username, and proxy password depending on your preferences. Let's save this as import multiple.txt. Click save. So as you can see, there's only one account per line. But you can also import one account only. Let's delete the second one, and let's save it as another file. Let's call it import single.txt, click save. 
We can also enter the account details on a spreadsheet. No need to separate each account detail with a colon because they are already divided into four columns. When you're ready, let's save it as a CSV file and let's call it import multiple.csv. Click save. So now let's click the import multiple accounts button. Select the right file, import multiple for example. Click open. As you can see, it imported two accounts at the same time. And both of them are under the group name multiple. Now let's go to the select button. If you click all accounts, it will select everything. So let's deselect all and it deselected everything as well. If we click working accounts, it only selected accounts that are working. Let's deselect all again. If we select not working accounts, it did not select anything because they are all working. If we click not checked accounts, it also did not select anything because all of them have been checked. Finally, we can select account by groups. So if we click ungrouped, it only selected the accounts that are grouped under ungrouped. If we click multiple, it selected those that are grouped under the group name multiple. The next one is update. If we click update all details, it will alert us to select an account first. So let's select those that are grouped under the group name multiple and then click update and update all details. So it updated the accounts that are selected. Next, we have check account status. So it will also check the status of both accounts. If we click stop process, it will stop all processes ran by these accounts. Same goes with stop all activity. It will stop all activities for both accounts. Finally, you can update auto verify credential if you want. The next one is export. If you click this button, you need to select where you want to export the accounts. Let's say desktop, for example. Click select folder. Both accounts were successfully exported. Click OK. Next, we have delete. This is very useful when you are deleting multiple accounts at the same time. So simply select the accounts you want to delete, then click delete anyways. And they're both gone. As stated earlier, you can also use the import multiple accounts button to add one account only. So let's select import single, click open, and it only imported one account. Finally, the info button over here will tell us more about the accounts manager module. So it can add or delete single account, and it can also import or export multiple accounts. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.